Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, okay, so for this time around, I will show you how to um, how to use Tinkercad, which is we need to apply using uh, function generator and oscilloscope. Okay, so this is regarding to uh, lab sheet number four. Okay, so. This is the lab sheet number 4. Okay, so this time around, we are going to um, uh, to introduce you to what is the oscilloscope and what is the function generator. Function generator is the, the equipment that we use to generate um, uh, which is uh, the signals in AC. Okay, whereas for the DC power supply is the for uh, this input right so this is the uh, symbol for the uh, ac input okay so we are going to use a diode and resistor for our component today okay so we are going to check or measure the output at the uh, resistor okay so this is what we call diode forward bias okay which is the signal will only flow in this direction okay only in this direction all right so backward direction is not allowed okay so i have shared in my google drive uh, the expected results of the experiment okay so you may check uh, you may watch uh, the video uh, on the expected result for the experiment one um experiment experiment two and experiment three and also uh, we have the uh, the actual lab setting um on how to set the function generator and how to set the oscilloscope okay since we have the ac signals so uh, we need to measure the ac signals using uh, oscilloscope Okay, compared to the DC signals, DC input, uh, last time, we are only use uh, the digital multimeter to measure. Okay, so for this time, for AC signal, we are going to have input through our function generator and our output will be measured through um, oscilloscope. Okay, so I will show you how to use the typical cat, okay, to simulate the circuit, okay. So this is our circuit, alright. So we have punch generator here as an input. Uh, flow through diode. This is the diode. This is the signal. Uh, this is the symbol of the diode, and uh, the current will flow through resistor for seven OO. Okay, and go back to punch generator. Okay, so the oscilloscope will be tapped here uh, at the resistor. Alright. So as usual. Open up your ticker cat circuit and get your breadboard. Okay, you may uh, you may search here uh, function generator. Okay, just type down the function generator. Okay, this is then select this as a function generator. Okay, next is oscilloscope. Just uh, type down the sorry, just type down the oscilloscope. Okay, so this is the oscilloscope. Right, so just click here and put on your uh, canvas uh, on the left side. Okay, so I will need two os uh, oscilloscope as um, I need to measure the input signal and the output signal. For the left one is for the input and the right one is for the uh, output. Okay, because of uh, if you refer to your lab sheet, we need you to sketch the input signal, okay? During the lab, actual lab, face-to-face -face lab, students need to sketch, okay? Since you are using the ticker cat, okay? So you may put inside your report, uh, just screenshot uh, the wave that uh, appear on your oscilloscope and just paste on this, uh, this box, okay? So, so this is you need to sketch. You need to paste the uh, input signal, and uh, just put up what is the parameter. How to read the parameter? Uh, you can um, you can watch the video, okay, 
uh, and this is for you to paste the output signal. Okay, also the uh, setting. All right. So we go to the experiment one first. Okay. So go to your ticket cat and uh, get all the things we have, we need, which is diode, one diode and one resistor for seven ohm. Okay. So this is the diode. So this is the D1. So just type down the diode. Okay. How to know the diode, the direction of the diode? Okay. The, the gray line need to be, uh, let's say, uh, see, let's refer to your slow, uh, sorry, uh, left sheet. Okay, the direction should be on from left to right. Okay, so this is the in in the right side. Okay, this gray line. All right. So this oscilloscope will be connected to four seven o o resistor zero point point four seven kilo ohm resistor. Okay, so just connect as usual. Connect. Um, the circuit to your input. Okay, this is your input function generator. Okay, alright. Let's refer back. Okay, set the input source V in to ten volt peak to peak. Okay, sine wave one kilo hertz. Okay, so I will put randomly um the input. Okay, okay. Let's say this is my function generator. So the frequency I put it as a hundred hertz. Uh, amplitude is let's say I put it as a uh, sorry I put it as 20 volt okay so just set the DC offset is 2.5 okay the function is uh, should be so should be sine wave right okay but I will show you I will change to triangle wave okay you can change it uh, if you refer to your lab sheet, it is actually sine wave, but this is example, so I will show you the triangle wave. Alright. Okay, so connect. This is the positive. Just connect to the, uh, connect to the, oh sorry, stop simulation. Connect to the positive um, line. This is the negative supply, so connect to the negative line. Okay. Uh, so, since we need to capture this input, so just put this positive here and the negative probe is e here. Okay, also goes to output. We need to ch uh, check output at the um, resistor. So it should be here, positive. Maybe negative should be in, sorry, sorry, yeah, it's actually the positive should be here. The negative one should be here. Okay. So, what you need to do is just set your oscilloscope is 300 microsecond per division. Also, same here, 300 microsecond per division. Okay, so you may start your simulation. Start your simulation. So, this is the input. Okay. Uh, this is the triangle wave as the input. Okay. So, the output will be like this. Okay. Why the output is like this? Okay. You may watch the video that I have shared. Alright. So, you may continue to the experiment 2 and uh, 3. Okay. Just for your info, the experiment 3, um, for the experiment 2, uh, we use uh, 2 diode. Okay. Right. 2 diode and uh, add on another 2 DC supply. So just add on. For experiment three, we have a S one is a, a switch. Okay, just add on the switch. So this one is the uh, capacitor. Okay, just add on the capacitor. So that's all for your experiment five. Okay, so thank you very much.